Hello everyone. <laughs> Welcome back. Guys, we're gonna try something today that I've never done before because we're gonna try restaurants in Berlin. But we're not gonna try the best ones, the ones that I know. We're gonna try something completely new. I don't know why exactly I'm doing this now, but for some reason, I'm really tempted because usually when I eat food in Berlin, where I live, I just order takeout. Sometimes I also cook, but I usually never go out for dinner or lunch. I just never leave the house. <laughs> but for this video, I thought, why not? And why not go out out? Why not eat at the most expensive restaurants in Berlin? I was just wondering, what is there in Berlin that I've never experienced so far? Well, I don't go out for dinner that often and I especially don't go out for expensive dinner. It makes me feel uncomfortable, so I just never did that. I did it once in Paris, actually, Paris. <laughs> And it was actually horrible because I ordered oysters and snails because I wanted to try something new and then I ended up not liking it. And then I had this whole plate full of oysters and snails and I didn't know what to do with it. And I kind of just tried to get them down my throat, but it was just the most disgusting thing ever. My experience with fine dining is not good, but I thought, I want to see what Berlin has to offer. I've seen a lot of TikToks about expensive food in Berlin. I don't know why though. Maybe because I was supposed to film this video. I was meant to film this video. So I thought, why not eat at the most expensive restaurants in Berlin for 24 hours? Breakfast, lunch and dinner. Let's see what we can find in Berlin and let's see what we can waste our money on. I feel uncomfortable here. We're currently in the Ritz, one of the most famous and most expensive hotels in Berlin and maybe even than worldwide. I think the Ritz is actually international, isn't it? We're gonna have the Berlin's most expensive brunch here, which costs 200 euros per person. So let's go inside. The guy in the um, front, he just said go left. There's nobody here. He's like, oh, they look like poor people. I'm just gonna <laughs> get them over there where nobody is. I got my Versace bag for today. Let's I just gotta show your look because you're actually giving rich. Look at her with her blowout and her little scarf. But What's I'm actually gonna pay for her brunch, so. <laughs> Wie findest du das brunch? This is not the music that I thought would happen here. I thought I would have like some classical. Yeah. Now music. they're playing backstreet. <laughs> <laughs> they just took it away. Five seconds after <laughs> they took the knife away that she dropped. She was like, oh, I don't mind. And he was like, mm -mm, girl, you're better than that. <laughs> Well, anyway, let's finally cheers with our champagne for our brain. This is the first thing I'm consuming today. How is it? champagne -y. Yeah, we have like a table right in front of the boxes. We actually got a, another spot right here. We have a champagne flat rate, but I don't get it honestly because nobody else has this. Why do we have this? <laughs> I think I just gotta get drunk, honestly. I actually heard that if you get super drunk, I'm super, thank you. They offer to drive you home. <laughs> Ooh, it's already hitting. <laughs> thank you so much. Enjoy. I love the long broccoli. What is it called, wild broccoli? Okay, so they know, yeah. they know. I'm just saying that I'm paying all of this. Like, it's not like this is a collab, but at least they gave me broccoli. <laughs> That was good. Mm. I have to say, it's also very good. I ate it for the first time last week, actually. I've never had it before that, but I think it's my favorite broccoli, too. Let's get food. Um, yeah, we've got a lot of seafood. I'm not the biggest seafood fan. That's why I have Vanessa with me. Ah! What do you want, Vanessa? Uh, one of each. I don't think there's something that looks more disgusting <laughs> than oysters. This <laughs> Oh, no, 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 that's the same. I've already done it. Oi, 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 o
Okay, I'm bougie. I piss thousand euros. I don't want an euro. You piss it. How was it? Actually, I didn't mind it that much. It was much better than the first oyster I've ever eaten. I like the taste. I just hate the consistency, but I don't need to eat the other ones. No. <laughs> the only way I want to consume lobster is like all the people in the ASMR videos do it. Like this, this is not giving the vibe. Why is it pink? Is it always pink? I think I also have a consistency problem with lobster. Ooh, the mayo is good. <laughs> The broccoli is for cleansing the palate. <laughs> Next. It's fish. Uh, this is eel. This is yeah. eel. Yeah. And this is something that, ooh, I just touched it. <laughs> what is this? Tuna? Oh, I'll take it. I feel like I also should try this because people have been going ham on him. So I just scrape it out. Oh, that feels so wrong. I mean, obviously it's real, but I've never seen a fish like this. <laughs> Honey um, comb. Wow. Why is it black? Oh, enough work for today. <laughs> Excuse me, some people are trying to work here. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you're supposed to eat it like with your hands, no? I hate fish bones so freaking much. I can't even stand the texture in my mouth. And it was literally the first thing I had in this fish. And I know it's normal, it's just not for me. Let me try the swordfish. Maybe I'm just not in a fish mood. Yeah. It's sweet. The pastry is sweet, but it's still the best thing. I just got myself some truffle pasta. They actually make this in some parmesan, a huge parmesan cheese bucket. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's uh, the truffle on there. That's it. <laughs> I thought it would be very cheesy. It's not. It's the perfect amount of cheesiness. And the truffle, I love truffle. Is it worth 200 euros? <laughs> Ask me that later. <laughs> they just said um, after me there was no more pasta left. Now give it back. Hello everyone, welcome to my uh, cheese board. Uh, it's very late so it's already a bit small. <laughs> Usually I have a bit more cheese happening here. <laughs> but yeah, we're just gonna take the leftovers of the rich people. <laughs> I think that's all like camembert. Yeah, and um, can we uh, go to the cake? This looks like a satanic ritual. <laughs> I mean, it's giving Moto one. <laughs> is it normal that this is so black? Am I taking this? Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna take the one that is not black. What happened to the spoon? <laughs> I want you to stop filming right now. We need some marmalade with our cheese. That is what cheese people do. I know, don't worry. This is uh, all of the um, sweet stuff they have. The big one over there. It was big one. <laughs> what do people do to this? <laughs> they went ham. I'm just here for this. It looks like I want to slap uh -huh. it. And we're gonna find out if this is cheese or white chocolate. <laughs> Marshmallow. <laughs> I just want to keep going. Oh, oh yeah! You have like pineapple? This is 200 euros, guys. <laughs> this is all of the sweet selection that we made. Oh, it's soft. It tastes like it's been laying there for a week. I think this is the sweetest thing I've ever eaten. I have the highest hopes on this because this looks really good. Cream strudel or whatever it is. Mm -hmm. I can't taste the blueberry or what it is. What is it? It just tastes like cream. This mm -hmm. looks like a dessert from an event. No. It's so bitter. It's sour. Yeah, sour. I don't want to eat the grass. <laughs> the rice is hard. I'm losing my patience. <laughs> You're on. Thin nice. That's better. That's the best one. Good job, Brett. I love eating here. Okay, now we're going for the cake, cake, cake. It tastes like coffee. <laughs> oh no, the cake is 
It's way too dry, but it's just... Yeah, it's just very dry. Let me try the other one. It tastes like Kaiserschmarrn, like the thick pancake. It's a bit weird, but it's not bad. But it's also not good. <laughs> 200 euros. <laughs> but don't swallow. Now it sounds like I hate this place, but I'm dead honest. The honeycomb I ordered on Amazon is better. So let's just have some cheese. Zip it into marmalade because that's what cheese people do. Mm -hmm. I like this. Domino Santi Barabirium It's Thai Den Käse, den sie einfach nur gekauft haben und dahingestellt haben, der war super <lacht> Sie macht die Daumen nach oben <lacht> <lacht> Why am I feeling like a news speaker right now? The current situation in Berlin We have left the Ritz We are both drunk as fuck Honestly, the only very good thing that I had today was the truffle pasta and the champagne. I would definitely never go there again unless somebody invites me. Some of the stuff that we ate was even an audacity. Like some of the stuff was outright not good. But I also have to say that you can have endless champagne. But is it worth 200 euros? Definitely not. Now we're gonna have some lunch. And for that, I have gone to the Mine restaurant. Mine? 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 Your restaurant. Yeah, it's mine. <laughs> Apparently, the Mine restaurant has the most expensive pasta in the whole of Berlin. And you know me, I'm a pasta girl. I need to figure out what that pasta is gonna be like. Let's have some Italian food. Let's go, Italian boy. Then you can see a little bit of Berlin to the side. <laughs> I'm just looking at the menu. <laughs> the it feels so wrong to film in here. We're here to try spaghettini with caviar. It costs 55 euros. It is definitely a very expensive price for pasta, but it's because it's with caviar. Did you see the fly? It's also not that busy because we're kind of early. I mean, it's lunchtime, so I've never tried caviar in my life. Only. <laughs> yeah, sorry, du hast like, angefangen zu reden, als ich im Mund hatte. I've never tried caviar in my life and I'm scared I'm not gonna like it and I'm scared I'm gonna pay 55 euros for a pasta that I don't like. The thing is also, you and me, we never go into restaurants. Yeah, we anyway. never dine out at all. <laughs> we never dine out, not cheap, not chic, nothing. We just order. <laughs> no, I know. You just feel the awkwardness of having to film me, right? Yeah, all of it. And also the <laughs> table is so close to the next one. And I don't know. Yeah, that this is kind of an awkward. <laughs> <laughs> so I ordered an almond aperol spritz, whatever that means. Why did you order that? Well, is there anybody else? It doesn't taste like almond. It tastes like white wine with a little bit of bubbles, a little bit of carbonation. Tastes like water. Maybe I am still a little bit drunk from breakfast. <laughs> he just came over and asked how we like our drinks and I said, well, um, what is almond in my drink? And he said, it's with almond liquor. I said, I don't taste it. Then he was like, maybe it's not mixed right then. Can, should I take it back and mix you a new one? I was like, yes. Now he's making me a new one. Oh, I feel so dirty. Yeah, I feel like a really bad person. <laughs> You're with me. <laughs> You're with a horrible person. Yeah. But we got bread. Yeah, it looks so good. I'm a good person. I like your bread. Guys, I have good news. I got my new drink. I can actually taste the almond in there and I'm so happy. Maybe that is the new me. They had broccoli, so I had to order broccoli. Somehow this broccoli, it just follows me. I mean broccoli in general, but this kind of broccoli, like the wild broccoli, I didn't even know broccoli like this exists. And then I tried it last week in London when I was on tour for the first time. And since then, it's been following me. But I don't mind it. So yeah. I don't think I ever had such a good broccoli. Brilliant. This is something I think we got it for free. Did we get it for free? Ravioli? What is it? Filled with ricotta, ricotta in butter sauce with truffle. 
It's a bit watery, but it's still good. Especially if it's for free. <laughs> okay, everyone, so my 55 euro pasta is finally there. It is actually quite a small portion. Um, this is actually the only um, spaghetti or pasta on the menu that is homemade. Vincent's is not homemade. <sighs> 55 euros, guys. <laughs> It's salty pasta with butter. Wait. <laughs> it's getting better. It's getting better. Mmm, that's good. It's good. Do you taste the homemadeness? Maybe. <laughs> I finished the whole plate of spaghetti. It was very good. Even though I didn't want to like caviar, but I mean, I didn't like the caviar on its own, to be honest, because it was too salty and too fishy. But together with the butter sauce and the spaghetti, it was actually really good. I'm very, very full now, I have to say, and I somehow fall asleep already. I just want to leave. <laughs> we are now ready for our dinner. We are actually at the Brandenburger Tor. Oh, you can see it from here. Yes, Berlin sightseeing. We are now at the Hotel Adlon. Wow. There you can get the most expensive Döner Kebab. Let's go. So here you can see, this is the lobby. This is where we want to go. It doesn't look too busy. I think we're good. It always feels like you're an intruder if you don't actually sleep at the hotel and you just eat. I never do that. But anyway, we're here and we're here for this and nothing else. Döner kebab, veal tenderloin, truffle cream, fresh truffle, marinated cabbage, red onions, tomatoes, flatbread for 29 euros. We got some snacks. What is that? Popcorn? That's popcorn. Mm, it's probably... Oh, it's not good. I'm gonna have the veggie one. Oh, you're gonna have a dinner kebab, but just yeah, yeah, falafel, yeah. basically. I ordered a Bellini peach liquor, peach something, and champagne, and it costs 15 euros. I'm just really happy that I have my champagne for my brain again. Look at Vincent's strawberry fields. It looks so pretty. <laughs> 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 Can I try yours? You're just so busy filming right now, so I mean, I'm doing you a favor. You're paying for it. So yeah. <laughs> wow, what a great shot. Mm, yummy. <laughs> yeah. It's so good. Is it a strawberry mm. smoothie? Maybe a bit. <laughs> <laughs> so here it is. As mentioned, we, as mentioned, we have the truffle. You can definitely see all the truffle in there. And I think the meat is actually the, the light part. That's unusual. You actually also get a little sip of ayran. It does look quite fancy, but it also looks a little dry. Squish it and then you just go. Hmm. The first bite is always boring. Okay. <laughs> There's no sauce. I mean, don't get me wrong, the meat is really good, like really good. But why would you not put any sauce on this? I'm not a very passionate dinner eater. Like, I just don't like the meat anymore. Back in the days, I really ate it a lot. This is not giving me dinner. Mm. I'm offended by the size of this cabbage. Entschuldigung, können wir noch zusätzlich um, diese cheese fries bestellen? Ja, sehr, sehr gerne. Super, danke schön. Down here, the cabbage is very moist and very saucy. I just wish that would already happen in the first 30 bites. And these are the Parmesan fries. And this is, uh, I think, marmalade. Fries. Really nice fries. I also love the green on there. I don't know the vocabulary right now, but that actually makes it really nice. I'll just keep drinking my strawberry fields, which is definitely my drink. I literally just flashed myself. I wanted to adjust my microphone and then I accidentally popped this button and I revealed my whole boob. I don't know if anybody saw that, but if you did, you all are welcome. Ich glaube, es ist automatisch. Yeah. So guys, I'm outside again. I have to say, it was a very good Döner Kebab. And I think it was much better than the average Döner in Berlin. Than the average Döner in Berlin. How dare people live? <laughs> that was the meanest stare that I have Honestly. ever done. <laughs> How many Döner have you had here? I only had like veggie ones. I've never <laughs> had one with meat. Wow. But just in general, I mean, Döner tastes the same everywhere in Germany. <gasps> Guys. Guys, but I really like the doner. 
and I really like the fries actually. But I'm never gonna go here again. But the guy at the door said I have a nice outfit. Outfit check. I think he also saw me flashing my boob. <laughs> Let's go see the Brandenburger Tour, guys. I done already had censuses. We all have censuses. <laughs> but maybe you guys haven't, so I want to show you. There it is. Wow, you're so Berlin. You're in the middle of the street. Oh my there's god. There's also the police there. Maybe there's something happening there. The Ordnungsamt. Ordnungsamt is this. <laughs> People thinking there's a life to be had here while I film. Yeah, yeah. that was our little uh, Berlin trip. Let's go home again. We've been out for too long. So that was everything expensive that I tried. But I do have to say, I would be lying when I said the food that I tried in this video wasn't good, except for the brunch. The brunch was actually really not good. But let's say if you would drink three bottles of champagne, then I think the brunch is worth it. Actually, that's not even true because I found out that the champagne they use is from Lidl and it costs 52 euros the bottle. <laughs> all in all conclusion, this video was unnecessary, but interesting for me personally, but I never want to film anything like that again. Maybe in a different country. That was my very expensive video. Don't forget to follow me on all of my social media, which is Naomi Jan on Instagram. Naomi Jan on TikTok. And the Naomi Jan on. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching and I will eat you in my next video. Goodbye. Did that heart just break? That was not what what I was doing. I'm like, <laughs> goodbye.